So hi everyone, today I will be discussing about OWAP's juice shop. As you can see, OWAP's juice shop is a vulnerable uh, web application which we could use for penetration testing. So in this uh, challenges, we will try to complete all the one star challenge provided by OWAP's juice shop. Uh, we could just go to the scoreboard and to check all the challenges that have been uh, categorized as one star difficulty. So we managed to uh, complete the first one which is scoreboard. So basically this challenge is to search for the scoreboard. So I'll be moving on with this read our privacy policy. So to read the privacy policy, hold on, let me duplicate the tab and yep, let's see if we could. No. Nope. So in order to read the privacy policy, we are supposed to log in as a user. So since we do not have any information, I'll just create one. All right, so once we have logged in into our own account, we could just click on privacy and security and click on this bar. Yeah, there we go. So just try it a few times and it should be working. So the next challenge that we will be trying is to bully this chatbot. So as you can see here, we have a brute force text here. So this basically means that we are supposed to send multiple requests into this chatbot. So uh, to access the chatbot, we also need to log in as a user. So since I've logged in as a user just now, I could just click on here and click support chat. So here we have a juicy chatbot. So since we are supposed to get a receive for a coupon code, we could just spam for coupon the word coupon and force it to give us a coupon code. Okay, so after a few times we'll eventually get a ten percent coupon code from this chatbot. So next we'll be focusing on DOM X. XSS, so it's basically cost right scripting. Uh, so we we'll just copy the given uh, code and we will look for a place to perform uh, DOM cross script scripting. So as you can see, my targeted is this search bar. So if I just paste into it and click enter, it will pop out uh, the command so basically this means that uh, the DOM SSH uh, XS Cross scripting has successfully uh, triggered so as you can see here we managed to solve uh, challenges so since we have performed uh, DOM Cross scripting we could uh, run on this bonus payload as well so this is basically just run the uh, same uh, the given code into DOM XSS challenge. So at the same place, we could just paste and click on enter, and we'll have a result which basically uh, just shops song. All right. So the next one that we will try is to uh, complete this challenge. This challenge is basically close multiple challenge of notification in one go. So this challenge, we have this uh, notification here. We could just close everything by uh, holding shift and click the X button. So yeah, we managed to solve this challenge as well. So moving on is uh, this repetitive registration. So as you can see here, we are supposed to follow dry principle while registering a user. So dry principle, principle. So dry principle basically means that uh, don't repeat yourself. 
So based on the uh, title, it's repetitive registration. So if we just log out and we go to the registration page, and we we'll see that the only thing that's repeat is uh, password. So since it asks us to follow a uh, drive principle, so which means that it's supposed to ask us to provide a different password and the repeat uh, password. So we could just store it by giving this anything. The password we could just put anything for now. I'll put the uh, one and repeat password. I'll just put one. But since we need five uh, passwords here, we could just do two, three, four, five, and the repeat password will be automatically correct because uh, I think because of the JavaScript that uh, it checks uh, for the previous password, which is one. So after uh, the password and the repeat password is uh, correct, you can just change anything from the password and it should be working as fine. So as you can see here, here I put any. So based on this uh, registration, our password has five characters, but our repeat password only has one. If you try to register, we still able to register successfully, which means that we managed to solve these challenges. So moving on, we will try to complete this challenge name confidential document. So this is basically trying to access a confidential document. So as you can see here, we could go to their About Us homepage. And we will get something interesting that terms of use. But if you look through their webs, uh, their link, as you can see if I copy here, then I paste it. We have something called FTP here. So if you go to that page, yeah, we have a lot of mystery stuff and once one of this would be the uh, confidential document. So if we click on this, once we download and we open and see, mm, let's just open here. And yeah, as you can see here, this document is confidential, do not distribute. So which means that we managed to get the uh, confidential document and as you can see here we also managed to complete this uh, challenge as well so the next one we'll try to uh, complete this uh, error handling so back to this FTP if you try to click on any file that doesn't end at uh, .md or .pdf we will receive a different result so as you can see here if I try to click .bak so it says that only MD file and PDF file are allowed. So this means that we have successfully uh, triggered the error code 403. So once we trigger it, we will be successfully solved for this challenge as well. So next we will try to solve this challenge name Expose Metrics. So Expose metrics is just basically the endpoints that serve usage data that's grabbed by a popular monitoring system. We could easy since the category is set as uh, sensitive data exposure, we could just try to uh, search for the link and hope that it comes out. So if you try to copy this name here, and if you just go to metrics and click enter, there you see we have a lot of uh, information here. So this is just basically the re information given by the popular monitoring system. And we will be successfully uh, complete this challenge as well. And so now we have three more to go. So the first one I'll be doing is, is uh, providing zero star feedback to the store. So providing feedback, zero star feedback, we could just go to here and customer feedback. So as you can see here, the first, we have one star rating to five star rating. 
uh, we are not able to do a zero star. So in order to perform zero star rating, we could uh, make use of burp uh, suite to help us. So let me turn on my burp suite. Meanwhile, I'll just click on uh, the random comments. Random comments and what's the catch up part? Uh, so it's two. So if we try to pull, it will never reach zero star. So I will be using the uh, burp to help. Yep. So once it's done. So next we will move, uh, we just run this book suite. And when it started, we just turn off, turn on this uh, proxy intercept and our book suite is set into this book. So if we click on submit, we will have this thing out for us. Uh, so as you can see here, we tried to po uh, send a post request to this feedback and the request here is uh, this rating is 1, we'll just change this into 0 and forward the request. So and we have successfully triggered it, uh, send a 0 star uh, feedback. So this means that we have successfully completed this challenge as well. So the next one I'll talk about is this missing encoding. So based on the name, it should be related to enc encoding. Well, the category is input improper input validation, which means we will try to take note of both of these two. So first we need to search where's this uh, photo. So photo should be somewhere in the photo wall here. So as you can see here, we have five images supposedly, but these images does not pop out. So we could just uh, inspect it. And once you inspect it, hold on, let me put it bigger for you. As you can see here, the source uh, image, it has a cat emoji inside. So since it's a uh, emoji, we could try to edit this uh, HTML. So I just copy the whole thing and go to a uh, web call URL and code. So once we reach URL encode and we paste it, then we will have this URL encoded. So back after that, we will just copy and we paste it back into here. And boom, there our image is back again. Now for some reason, this scoreboard doesn't work. So we just move on to our last. Our last is uh, outdated allow list. So this is uh, this description is that basically ask you to search for the uh, uh, cryptocurrency address which are not promoted anymore. So in this case, we will search uh, based on here. So as if we view the uh, inspect, if we inspect it and we go to the uh, debugger tab. Hold on, let me make it bigger. And we go to their uh, JavaScript file. So in this JavaScript file, we search for uh, crypto. Crypto, since it's crypto, most probably gonna be something to do with Bitcoin. So the first assumption assumption is to search for Bitcoin. <clears throat> so as you can see here, you have some information about Bitcoin. So. Once we search every Bitcoin, so we will be managed to find a URL redirected to. So 
as you can see here the URL here shows that we will be redirect to another a different uh, URL so we just copy this copy copy to clipboard and here we we'll just paste it uh, redirect the to and boom and yeah so this should be the juice shop uh, there you go see this is the juice shop for the uh, the bitcoin address for juice shop and now if you go back to here we should be successfully uh, completed this outdated list and yeah wait yes and by right everything should be completed but let me try once more about this missing encoding so uh, just go back to photo wall and we could also just uh, inspect it and open link in the new tab so this will change the url to this oh, oops i forgot it here should be asset starting from the set here yep and yeah we have these images is this running yes no ah yes there we successfully solved the challenges so as you can see here there everything here is soft so thank you